In just days, a rare solar eclipse will put on an amazing show in the skies. It will stretch from coast to coast, something that hasn't happened in nearly 100 years. WJC's first morning weather team is tracking this eclipse. Meteorologist Tim Williams shows us the science behind the big solar show. Tim. Well, Vic, this is the first total eclipse on the United States, continental United States, since 1979. But while you're looking up, scientists are using the opportunity to study its effects here on Earth. A rare total eclipse will sweep across the United States on Monday, offering up a brilliant show in the daytime sky. And while this amazing cosmic event stretches across the entire country, scientists will study it every step of the way. We want to know how the Earth is responding to the solar eclipse, to this decrease in solar light that's entering the Earth's atmosphere. From coast to coast, about 100 years since the last one? That's right. The last one was almost 100 years ago, 99. The fact that this one is going from coast to coast, it comes in through Oregon, goes across the United States, exits out of South Carolina, that's amazing. Dr. Nikki Vile is a NASA scientist who studies the sun. She tells WJZ this is a unique chance for her to collect data only available during eclipses. This is actually really useful that the sun is being blocked out by the moon because the photosphere, this main body of the sun, is so much brighter than the atmosphere around it that we usually can't see the atmosphere around the sun. How will this impact the weather on the Earth? Tides, the temperatures, the sun, the wind? What I study are the solar atmosphere, the solar corona. There are different parts of the solar corona. There's what we call active regions. These are concentrations of intense magnetic fields. When it interacts with the Earth, it can lead to some very beautiful things like the northern lights and the southern lights. It can also disrupt spacecraft. It can also interfere with our GPS, things like that. And while NASA scientists across the United States are excited for the data they'll collect, Many, like Dr. Vile, are going to enjoy it just like the rest of us. To actually get to see it live and in person with my naked eye is just going to be, I'm so, I'm so excited. Now, NASA wants you to be one of its scientists during the eclipse. All you need is a thermometer and a smartphone. For information on how to get involved, go to CBSBaltimore.com and look for this story. Back over to you, Vic. You're going to make me look now, Tim. I'm excited you about have that. To. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And watch the dramatic solar eclipse live right here on WJZ Monday at 1 p.m. The first warning weather team will continue to track this rare cosmic event. Don't miss this big solar show right here on WJZ. Yeah, I don't have a pair of the glasses yet, so I may just watch it on TV. I've gotten so many calls from people right, where do we and get emails, them, right? people asking where they can get them. I don't know. And they're rare. You can watch it on TV. <laughs>